How to find the smallest number in a set of numbers? Let's see an example now. I show you some numbers and try to find the smallest among them. 5 18 2 37 10 74 25 what was the smallest number there, the smallest value? It was 2. Let's see and check the algorithm that we were using finding this value. So we see 5. By the moment, this is the smallest value. Then 18. Does uh, This number doesn't suit because it's greater than 5. So 5 stays the smallest. Then 2. Yes, now this is the smallest, it's less than 5. 37, no, too big. 10, no, this is greater than 2. Th 74, too big. 25, no. So our winner, the smallest value, is 2. Again, we were comparing in pairs these numbers. As we were doing the previous uh, video with largest, find the largest value we were comparing in pairs. And here we are doing exactly the same. Now let's remember our um, code when we were looking for the largest value. So first of all, we created a variable, we called it largest, we stick there a very small number, a very small value. We knew, we suppose that this value is less than any element in the list. Then we created the condition, so we know, or we suppose this, that, our, uh, that any number in the list, any element is greater than the value of the variable largest, zero. And then, so if this condition is true, so the largest, the variable changes and takes the value of the number of elements in the list. And then print largest, we can put it here or here. And uh, now, please try to guess what, co what should we change in this list if you would like to find the smallest number. What changes uh, should we do? I can give you a hint. Um, there are three things that we must change here. The first thing is not that crucial, but it's good to do. Of course, we should call the variable not largest, but smallest. But if we don't do it, <laughs> it's not that important. We The result, anyway, is the small would be a, the smallest value. But, okay, let's change the name, so smallest. And then, now there are two things that we must change in this code in order to find the smallest value, the smallest number. To, just two things, two small things that we should change. Please, pause the video now and think what two things must we change in this code in order to find the smallest value of this list. Okay, let's check what did you think, what should we change. So again, first of all, we create a new variable, let's call it smallest. The name is not that important, but it's not crucial. If we call it smallest to x, y, and then, but here is the theme, the first thing that we must change in the previous code. Remember we were sticking 0 to our largest variable, but here we should, we must do the opposite thing. We don't, we uh, should stick here, we must stick here uh, a value that, that is greater than any element in the list. Uh, we see here the numbers are quite small, so 100 is okay. But imagine we have a big list and we, we don't know exactly what numbers are there. We know that they are positive, for example, positive numbers, but we don't know uh, if they how big uh, they are. And we suppose that 1 million is enough. So let's stick a really big number here, like 1 million, for example. 
a very very big number then and the condition changes if we if if number and smallest the comparison sign remember in the previous video, in the previous example, number was greater than largest because we we suppose that we knew that and we choose the largest, the value for the largest really, really small. But here this is the opposite situation. We know, we suppose in our case, we know that number is for sure is less than smallest. So we just change the comparisons operator. So if number less than smallest, then column sign and uh, here is exactly the same number oh, sorry do I was uh, now this is important the order smallest now is a number this is important the order this is not uh, like in math smallest takes the value of number try to find try to write um vice versa and still a difference but let's uh, see the code now so smallest take the value of number and then the print line remember we can do on the four level or if level let's try with four level first so print smallest we run the code and our output is 3 let's see the process so we delete or you just uh, print you just uh, press the top key in order to move this print a line to the level of if the top key and I do this I do it delete it from there and and right here print smallest okay and now let's see the process how is it going this so first of all Python sees that we stick to smallest a very big number one million and then the first number eight is eight uh, less than smallest yes this is true so smallest is number now our smallest is not one million now this is eight again python starts with 23 if number 23 less than smallest smallest is not now not one million it's eight so 23 is 23 less than 8 no this is not true so the smallest stays 8 the same story with 19 8 is less than 19 so it's 8 again 57 the smallest stays 8 and with 70 8 uh, is less than 70 so smallest is 8 and the last element is 3 less than 8 yes so the smallest is Free now so if you want would like to see the algorithm how Python is doing these comparisons you can see five times eight and the last number is three so again let's refresh our code the let's remember let's remind the code very good so we first of all we create the variable smallest we stick there a very big value 1 million and four number in the list uh, the four line we write and then if the number in the list uh, less than smallest then smallest takes the uh, smallest takes the v value of the number then print smallest you can put the print line uh, at any level let's try to remember this very good because now I give you an exercise Don't see something here. Mm -hmm. 
came. By the way, I checked what happens if we put number here, first number and then smallest. This is important to write first smallest and then number because so it, you see the logic. If the number in the list is less than smallest, is the this variable, then smallest takes the value of number, not vice versa. Because if you put number here and then smallest, then your output uh, goes crazy because then your all the numbers would be one million in the list. So you can check, you can check and see why the logic uh, is not correct in the case if you put first full number and then smallest. But okay, uh, let's do now the exercise. I'll give you the exercise. So again, the list. It was 724, 1858, 69, and 4. Please find the smallest value in the list.